Evening, April 27th. The Lord is King for ever and ever. Psalm 10, verse 16. Jesus Christ is no despotic claimant of divine right, but he is really and truly the Lord's anointed. It hath pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. God hath given to him all power and all authority. As the Son of Man, he is now head over all things to his church, and he reigns over heaven and earth and hell, with the keys of life and death at his girdle. Certain princes have delighted to call themselves king by the popular will, and certainly our Lord Jesus Christ is such in his church. If it could be put to the vote whether he should be king in the church, every believing heart would crown him. Oh, that we could crown him more gloriously than we do. We would count no expense to be wasted that could glorify Christ. Suffering would be pleasure, and loss would be gain, if thereby we could surround his brow with brighter crowns, and make him more glorious in the eyes of men and angels. Yes, he shall reign. Long live the King. All hail to thee, King Jesus. Go forth, ye virgin souls who love our Lord. Bow at his feet. Strew his way with the lilies of your love and the roses of your gratitude. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Moreover, our Lord Jesus is King in Zion by right of conquest. He has taken and carried by storm the hearts of his people and has slain their enemies who held them in cruel bondage. In the Red Sea of his own blood, our Redeemer has drowned the Pharaoh of our sins. Shall he not be king in Jeshurun? He has delivered us from the iron yoke and heavy curse of the law. Shall not the Liberator be crowned? We are his portion, whom he has taken out of the hand of the Amorite with his sword and with his bow. Who shall snatch his conquest from his hand? All hail, King Jesus, we gladly own thy gentle sway. Rule in our hearts forever, thou lovely Prince of Peace.